there's a flash like that before. Sounds like it's sparking, but it's not igniting. Yeah, that's what I kind of got from it. Do it yeah. I'm just checking we've got gas pressure going in. Yeah. And the uh, gas valve's opening. Gas valves opening. Which is a good sign. So we're probably looking at electrode twisted or something like that. Okay. So I know the gas valves opening, but I'm just going to test this. Some of the guys that don't know how to test it. So we've got our Marlex plug off the gas valve. I'm going to test the voltage to the gas valve. So we've got voltage to the gas valve. We know that. You can also take a resistance reading across, I think it's the two outer terminals. I'll have to double check on that. Okay, so we're gonna remove the combustion door now. Okay, let's get the combustion door off. As you can see, the seal at the back has been moved. I'm guessing that's been twisted at some point to pull the seal out and not realise. So they've turned it from a room seal boiler to a non-room seal boiler. It's important that goes back in. We're just going to check the voltage to the spark generator. We know it's operating, but we're just going to do it for the purpose of the video so you can see how it's done. So you pull the plug off the spark generator. Obviously you're gonna create a demand. You're gonna take your reading from the two terminals on the right hand side. Okay, so we know we've got voltage to the spark generator. Let's see if we've got a spark coming out of the spark generator. Okay. So we don't seem to have any spark coming out of there. spark generator uh, these electrodes are prone for twisting on these but if you haven't got an electrode with you and you take that out first then you potentially broke the seal and not be able to put it back together anyway so if you check it in that order then you can potentially change this and not have to mess about with the seal on there so I'm just going to pop and get a spark generator at my van stock Try a new spark generator and see if we have ignition. Okay. Spark generator. 
Let's see what happens then. Bit of a difference now, look. Got a pop of spark coming out of there. spark generator on there just hanging down for a minute pretty sure that's going to be my problem and we should have ignition from this so we'll reset the boiler drop it into service mode because I'm too lazy to walk and turn the tap on to us as well that he lost pressure so we will get the spark generator down we just spin this round here we can get our hands onto the shredder valve then get that pumped up maybe you need a 90 degree adapter to pump these up we're just gonna isolate the flow and return underneath the boiler and drop the pressure from that drain point in there Expansion is completely flat, standard. So we've drained it down, we've took a little water sample as well. We can test that for the customer while we're here. Get some charge back into this expansion. Always check your Schrader. Okay, some new spark generators in, expansion is being recharged. Little tip on these boilers, if you want to know if you've got power to a fan, you can pull the PWM connection off the fan and this fan will run flat out. So we know we've got voltage to the fan if you need to check it at all. So you're getting your multimeter out. So that's that connection we're pulling off there, the PWM connection. Right, let's put this into motion. Open the flow and returns back up. I'll put some pressure in.
don't know what it is with these boxy valves. The ones that you turn, you feel like you're turning forever before you actually get any water. You start doubting yourself, actually turning the right thing. Okay. Okay. I'm ready to fire the boil up. Put it in service mode. Check the high and low CO2. Okay. So what also happens on these, spark generator burns out because it's trying to spark too many times. So what's potentially happening in this board is electrodes are all distorted, broken down, it's called spark generator to just spark and spark. Customer keeps resetting it to the same fault again, spark generator eventually burns out. So the difference in what it should be like and how it's distorted. Now. Just checking the high CO2, you can see it's a little bit high. Give it a little tweak on there. 2.5 mil Allen key, clockwise will reduce it. Put this down into the low CO2 now. Just turn the heating potential on the back. I'm looking for 8.4 plus or minus 2. Low CO2 is in range, so we're not going to mess with that. But if we did, it'd be that flat head there in the centre of the gas valve, wind that out, and you've got a 4 mil Allen key inside. Anti clockwise will increase your CO2, clockwise will decrease your CO2. Small adjustments, don't over, over adjust this and send your readings way out. Yeah, that'll still do. We got the 20 kilo connect. It'll still do it, mate. Yeah. It'll still do it. Just get somebody around who knows what they're doing to set the heating system up and well, balance it all properly. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no problems. Always check your pressure release valve if you've uh, been dealing with an expansion vessel issue. Yeah, Condenser's undersized. Probably just going into the ground. 